Hey peeps, did you guys ever want to become a streamer? Well, I'm Nemius and I'm here to show you how easy it is to become a streamer with Restream. Now, full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. However, I'm really happy to do it as I've been using Restream since I started streaming years ago in July 2017. Without Restream, I don't think I'd be where I am. It's allowed me to build my online viewership much easier and faster just because of all the things Restream is capable of. See, when I was a new streamer, you kind of had to decide where you're going to stream. With Restream, however, I could stream to all the platforms at once if I wanted to. This is huge because you really don't know which platform you're going to take off on. So to pick, say, Twitch or YouTube before you even stream to one of them would be silly. Instead, the smart thing to do is to be on as many different platforms as possible so more people can find you and watch you. Nowadays, things have gotten even easier as you can stream straight from your browser. The new Restream Studio makes things so much simpler and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Alright guys, to start with, you just go to Restream.io link in the description, and then you make your account. Username, email, password, very standard things. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log in. And once you log in, you're on your dashboard. On your dashboard, you can add the streaming platforms you are on, and you can stream to them afterwards. In my case, I'm on Twitch, Mixer, Facebook, Smashcast, YouTube Stream. I would say these are the biggest ones if you're a gamer, but there are other options available, and I'll show you. For the purposes of showing you guys how to add a channel, I'm gonna remove my YouTube account. Delete, and then you go to add channel. At Ad Channel, you have all the platforms available. The biggest ones, of course, are Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube. I guess Periscope as well, but I don't stream to it. In any case, there are other many, many more options. So Billy Billy, MLG, Cyber Gaming, Steam, whichever ones you want. It doesn't change anything if you stream to more of them or less of them. But in my case, since I removed YouTube, I'm going to add YouTube back on. YouTube stream now. I'm going to connect my YouTube stream now account. Sorry for the brightness, but this is how it looks like. I'm going to give Restream permission to stream on my account. Press allow. Now that I'm in, YouTube stream now is now completed. It says Mixer streamer review is required. Mixer always does that. I don't even know why, but it's not a big deal. In any case, now you can update all titles at once if you so desire. So the last stream I had was for Langwister Mobile. I did Apex Top 128 live PAPP matches. To title it any differently, I would just copy it and I would write whichever game, Fire Emblem Heroes, for example, and do Test Stream, for example. And I can write a description and whatnot, and it would go in. You can name this whatever you want, uh, format it however you want. In my case, this is the way I do it. This is a valid response from YouTube API, which just means for me to log in again. So one moment. All right, now that I've logged in again, I just have to try that again and it should work but it's very easy to change all titles on all the different streaming platforms. You just simply paste it in and press update all and all of them will change at the same time. This way you have consistency and you don't have to go to each different streaming platform to change the descriptions and the titles. It helps a lot. Now you can also change the game that you're playing. So for Twitch, uh, it doesn't do it automatically. You would do it by yourself. So on Twitch, Fire Emblem Heroes would be Fire Emblem Mobile. I press it, update it, and, and that's it. On others platforms like YouTube Stream Now, it's automatic, so it's no issues. Anyways, once you're done that, you have the option of going social alerts. You can connect your Discord, Twitter, Facebook, and this way you can let everyone know you're going online. I don't use this, but it's up to you. It's because you have to change message text every time, and usually people have notifications anyway, so it's no big deal. Anyways, let's get to the big thing, which is Restream Now Studio. For Restream Studio, it's really easy to use. Once you give it access to your microphone and your webcam, you're basically done. You can decide how you want to stream. It could be a chatting stream where your webcam is on and you're just talking to people, or you can put your gameplay in. Now you guys know I don't stream with cameras, so I'm going to press disable on it. But you can if you want, and it will be accessed right here. You have your settings to tell you which are your default inputs. For me, I usually stream with my Yeti stereo microphone, so I'm going to press that. And the video, I have it set to my Game Capture HD60S which is my Elgato, and that would allow you to see things from... In my case, I have it connected to my tablet right now, my Switch, so that's where some of the inputs can come from. That's really easy. You could, of course, also do it through Share Screen. Share Screen will then ask you which screen you want it to check out. On screen one, it's the screen you guys are looking at. On screen two, it's my side screen. I usually keep OBS there and whichever music I'm playing there as well. So I'm gonna press screen one, share, and now you can see it's broadcasting what it sees on the screen. I could show you, say, I uh, open up my Steam account, and for example, I can log into a game and it would just display it there. It's pretty simple. 
let's do for the warp i press play and now you guys can see for the warp is being displayed now on your screen you're looking at live studio because i have it set to look at chrome but on my screen on the main screen it's just for the warp in the game fully what you see in the preview is exactly what i see on the screen i'm not seeing the rest of that so it's that easy to just stream a game you just press screen share put the game up and then you press go live and you're basically done but let's go back to everything else when you do go live you're gonna have your chat show up here and you can have messages being sent in by your viewers and you can respond to them here all the same you have captions if you so want to use it your graphics is really useful as well and you can upload to have whichever backgrounds and logos you want let me put myself back in the game so you guys can see it better all right guys now you have your game showing up but you might want to customize it further so i'm going to show you exactly how to do that this is pretty simple for the warp is now up but say if i want an overlay i have default one right now by restream i press show and now it's on the top left corner so once i enter the game again it'll just say live r restream you can use other overlays of course but when you're streaming this can add some flair to your stream and it's just pretty easy to customize it like that so now you guys can see it now if i want to change it further i could throw in my own personal logo um, the default one is powered by restream that would go to the top right corner but i'll put in my own logo there are also backgrounds and primary colors these things can all be changed this is relatively easy overloads uh overlays you can find on the internet everywhere backgrounds you can find on the internet everywhere your logos you can design yourself or you can find one as well but it's all very easy to use in my case i'll use my typical nino emote as a logo and it's super easy to use i just press upload and there you go now if i select it you know shows up on the top right corner and when i enter the game again that's how it's going to look like in the game itself so once i'm ready to go stream i just press go stream uh, yeah, Restream.io is sharing your screen. I can hide this, and there you go, it's gone. But it's that easy to really just get your game in, put some customizations in, and then go stream. Finally, in your setup, you can change your title, your descriptions. Um, you already saw me do this, so I'm not going to explain it again. But essentially, once you're ready to go stream, you just press go live. And then that's it. You're online. You're a friend of, you're a friend of the internet. <laughs> And where it goes depends on you then. Anyways, it's really that easy. In my case though, uh, you know what the heck, let's, let's press go live. A few moments later. <laughs> hey guys, just testing this streaming of Live Studio Pro from Restream. This is probably pretty weird for you guys because this is not typically how I stream, but it's really, I was just trying to show off how easy it is to do it. Hey Crazy Chan, hey Eddie, hey Nos. Anyways, real stream will be online in a few moments. We'll be with Alicia online. Don't worry, but I'll see you guys then. Thanks for dropping by for the test. I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, and just to demonstrate. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> I don't think I don't think people were very happy with me testing it here. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Wow. All right. And then when you're done, you press finish. Okay. Well, you guys get it now. It's very simple to use. And yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I want to conclude by letting you guys know streaming's easier than ever right now. And you can now get started without downloading anything and be on as many different platforms as you want. I would suggest giving it a try. My life in the past few years has changed so much just because I pressed the go live button. In 2017, in July, I pressed the go live button and ever since I've been a streamer. The people I've met, the experiences I've had, the things I've got to try, it's all because I pressed that button that one day. You just never know what would happen until you try and, well, I hope you guys try. It's really easy to try. Anyways, good luck guys, and miss out.